this year, it was incredibly hot. It hasn't quite hit fall yet, so it was a great 95 degrees, but we ran the whole way, came back here to finish uh, and cheer on our fellow runners and walkers as they come across the finish line. It's really important for us to be a part of Life Walk because we have many friends, family members, uh, crowd members that uh, live every day and have died because of HIV and AIDS. So if we can be a part, raise money for a great cause that does testing, treatment, and education here in North Texas, that means a lot to us. So we're happy to be out here for Life Walk 2019. This is like my fourth year doing Life Walk, um, and it gives me a lot of pride to work for a company that is very open and it just loves everybody. So we definitely support the Life Walk. This is something that our company is um, considered con inclusions and diversity. Um, with our company, um, we definitely like to do what we can to give back to the community as they do so much for us. Any help a volunteer can do is great. Um, a lot of agencies have um, government funds, but all the money that LifeWalk raises they can use it for anything, All right, we have so they're not restricted on what they use it for. Yet. So they can help other, um, they can help some of the um, clients do um, for stuff that is not government regulated. Dallas has one of the biggest transgender communities in the United States. So we need more resources, we need more visibility. Um, and we need to hear those positive stories. We want our community to know that trans people are out here doing great things in the community. We're, you know, um, we're stepping outside of the, the normal LGBT um, forefront. You know, we're working with um, cis organizations, we're working with just homeless communities and other things. So we want a lot of that to be seen in the media as well, not just all the time when someone's dead or getting shot, um, you know, for media to, to, to portray that.